What is going on everybody? Today we got a video of a new part. Uh, we're calling it a lower radiator baffle for 18 to 23 Mustangs. Now the kit we have right here comes with the, uh, the main shield, uh, some weather stripping associated hardware that you're gonna need. Now we're working on splitter kits and a handful of other things for the 18 to 23 Mustang. And when I was removing uh, you know, the factory splash shields, plastic, whatever you want to call it. We ran into a bit of a issue. And if you look through the grill, see how you can see all the daylight under there? Because there's your radiator and condenser. A huge gap right there. Now if we come underneath, so there's the grill we were just looking at. I can fit my entire hand between here. So what that means is a bunch of air coming through the grill is just going to be slipping out the bottom here, right? And if you watched any of my old videos going to the wind tunnel, um, I think we did it in a few of them, but sealing up the front side of your radiator is one of the best things you can do for not only cooling, uh, but efficiency of the car. Um, so this part should be a win-win, but rather than me just telling you, you can see we got these tubes right here which go to a pressure probe on the front. Now, I don't know, it's about eight inches long or so, so we can kind of get like an average area, if you will. Uh, so that'll be high pressure side on the front, low pressure side right here, kind of the same thing. Those tubes come all the way up inside the car to manometer that I'm gonna look at while I'm driving. Um, and end of the video, we'll kind of do all the math and you know see how much additional uh, effectively cooling you'll get. The math is pretty simple. You kind of have your initial front of radiator, back of radiator. Once we put our uh, baffle on, seal up the lower side of the radiator much better, you'll have a different front pressure, back pressure, and you can do the math from there. Now we will be putting the upper back on because that does kind of seal up the top here. Um, but yeah, let's go do our initial runs. All right, guys, we're ready to do our first pass. Um, Gauge is inches of water, we're zeroed out. Uh, we're gonna get up to 60 miles an hour. Uh, I'll yell, kind of a reading, and let's see what we get. All right, we're at 60.023. So we wanna pre-install a few things on our lower baffle. Put the weather stripping on the back put the J clips on these are the M6 J clips and it's it will come with these L brackets and these J clips and you can see we give you fairly generous slots to make everything line up because these go, these do go to the factory plastic um, I guess shrouding you can call it so the amount of slots should should allow everything to line up nice and easy and again we're not going to move the position of any of that stuff just so we get the same exact, uh, you know, reading area uh, from before and after test. Now you're gonna wanna get this in here above those little frame rail horns. Because it's aluminum, you should have a little bit of, uh, I'll call it like flex or movement. And then this splash shield. There you go. And once you're in, you want to make sure it goes under this lip on the bumper, uh, this little factory notch right here. Yeah, all right. So now you want to use the long bolt with the countersunk washer and the half inch spacer goes on top of the frame rail horn. So you can see that there, countersunk washer, bolt, spacer. And that spacer is sized to where it should be pretty close to snug against your radiator. <clears throat> and that little L on the side you can see goes to the factory hole right here to kind of keep this side baffle in place as well. You can see that the gap underneath the radiator is gone, sealed up pretty tight. And if you remember from the front view, you were able to see like light underneath of the radiator and now we're all sealed up pretty good. So we're gonna go take it for a drive, uh, see the pressure difference. All right, so we're about to do a run with our lower uh, baffle in place. 
Um, we're set up again, difference of inches of water. Uh, we're zeroed out, so let's see what we get. All right, coming up to 60. 60.27, I saw. All right, so I saw 0.27. Um, 0.27 inches of water difference between front and rear of the radiator. So now that we have all of our data points, um, I'm gonna do a couple more just to get an average because it's a little hard doing all this at once. Um, we'll do a little math and see what we get. <clears throat> all right guys, so I did a few passes um, and kind of came up with an average. Uh, the ones you saw on camera, I may have been like over or under 60 trying to do everything at once. Um, so, the OEM setup, we kind of got a average of 0.23 inches of water at 60 miles an hour. Our setup got 0.27 inches of water. So for a difference of like 0.04 with the original at a 0.23, that's a 20, 25% uh, difference in pressure from the front of the radiator to the back of the radiator. Um, so effectively like 25% more cooling. But there is a caveat I kind of want to be clear on since the probe is on the bottom like inch or so of the radiator it is picking up slightly localized pressure if you will so if that probe was a little bit higher up the radiator it would kind of not be as much so i want to kind of be clear with that i don't want you to think it's 25 percent across the entire radiator you know it's 25 percent across the bottom couple inches it might be 20 percent up a little bit from there and then 10 percent around the middle something like that but all that to say uh, and show you guys that yes, our lower radiator baffle for 18 to 23 Mustangs, you know, will help your cooling uh, since there's less air getting under the car. Now, unfortunately, we can't go to a wind tunnel to test this. <laughs> it would be an increase in front end downforce as well. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much an all around win-win. So there you have it, 18 to 23 Mustang lower radiator baffles. They will be on our website, link to that down below. As always guys, thanks for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one.